In lesson 7, we look at salvation. Points to note. God wants to redeem us because he loves us. Point 2. God created us in his image. 3. Sin destroyed our fellowship with God. 4. Everyone has sinned and will die. Point 5. Adam brought death and Jesus brings life. Point 6. Jesus bore our curse. Point 7. As we repent, he forgives. Point 8. Receiving Jesus, we are no longer condemned. Point 9. Receive Jesus and become sons and daughters of God. Point 10. Believe in him and receive eternal life. And 11. The gift of salvation is an experience for the present. John 3, 16-17 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Verse 17, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Point 1. God wants to redeem us because he loves us. 1 John 4 verses 8 to 9 says, He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God towards us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Point 2. God created us in his image. Genesis 1 verse 27 to 28 says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Point 3. Sin destroyed our fellowship with God. Genesis 3 verse 8 says, And they heard the voice of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Point 4. Everyone has sinned and will die. Romans 3 verse 23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 6 verse 23 says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Point number five. Adam brought death and Jesus brings life. Romans 5 verse 18 to 19 says, Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto the justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Point number six. Jesus bore our curse. Galatians 3 verse 13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree. Hebrews 2 verses 8 and 9 says, Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we shall not see yet all things put under him. But we see Jesus, who is made a little lower than the angels, for the suffering of death, crowned with the glory and honor that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 says, For he made himself to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Point number 7. As we repent, he forgives. Acts 3 verse 19 Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. 
1 John 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Point number 8. Receiving Jesus, we are no longer condemned. Romans 8 verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Ephesians 2 verse 8 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Point number 9. Receive Jesus and become sons and daughters of God. John 1 verse 12 says, But as many as received him, to them he gave the power to be sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Point number 10. Believe in him and receive eternal life. 1 John 5 verse 11 to 13 says, And this is the record, that God has given to us eternal life, and that life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that you believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Point number 11. The gift of salvation is an experience for the present. John 3 verse 16 and 17 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So, in this episode, we looked at the topic of salvation. God wants to redeem us because he loves us. We were created in his image. Sin destroyed our fellowship with God. Everyone has sinned and will die. Adam brought death, but Jesus brings life. Jesus bore our curse. As we repent, he forgives. Receiving Jesus, we are no longer condemned. Receive Jesus and become sons and daughters of God. Believe in him and receive eternal life. And the gift of salvation is an experience for the present. In our next episode, we look at questions regarding salvation.